You guys ready? Ready. Dive in. All right, back and biceps. So we'll start with some body weight sprawls now. So, or squat thrust. I like to call these sprawls. We're just gonna get that core nice and warm. Drop back, kick those feet back, and stand. Lots the back and biceps today. So have those dumbbells ready. Get that core warmed up. We're gonna start off with Renegade rows right after this. So you can think about the kind of weight you want to use for those. I'll probably start with 30 pounders, work my way up from there. Renegade rows where you're down in a front plank, doing that row, focusing on drawing that shoulder blade all the way back. Let's knock out a few more of these, get nice and warm. Two, last one. All right. All right, now we'll drop into Renegade Row. So grab a pair of dumbbells. You'll be in a front plank position with your feet far apart. And you can also do these modified. Still want to keep your knees apart if you're going to do a modified row. That way you get a nice steady base. Then you'll draw up, squeeze that shoulder blade back, and switch sides that core nice and steady. Get those hips from rotating. Focus on drawing with your elbow to squeeze that shoulder blade. Get my butt out of here. Four. Five. Get that good exhale every time you pull up. Seven, eight. We're gonna do a lot of these. At Fifteen. Just keep pumping. We'll drop the reps to the next round. We'll go all the way to fifteen this round. Twelve. We got three more. Three. Try to relax your arms. Two, make that back work. And one. Great job. Now you can adjust your weight down if you're adjusting. We're gonna go into a single arm rotating curl. I'm gonna drop down just a little bit. All right, I got 25s. So now you'll stand single arm rotating curl. So you'll come from a neutral into that supine grip, one arm at a time. Crank them out. Make it from that elbow doesn't come forward. Squeezing that negative. Biceps are already feeling it. Nine. Ten. Nice and steady. Looking good. All the way to 15. We got three left. There's three. Two, squeeze it on the way down. Last one each side. Keep that focus in the bicep. Nice. All right. Now we're gonna drop our reps to 12 reps this round. So you can jump back up a little bit for the renegade rows. We'll go right back into those. Back down the front plank. Adjust your weight as needed. Either start with your knees down and butt down or on your toes. Here we go, 12 on each side. Nice and steady. Two. Three. Keep 
Keep all that weight on your hands. Butts down. Step. Nine. Three more. Mm, the shoulders might be burning just a little bit. Try to keep them out of the equation. Two. Last one each side. And rest. Woo, baby. Yes. Oh. Oh. Those are talking. All right, we got one more round. We're gonna drop by another two reps, so we'll be down to 10 reps here. A little easier. All right, down into that front plank. Nice wide base. Let's keep at it. Keep that good form. Here we go. Come on. All we got is 10, so make each rep count. Two. shoulders back, elbows tucked into the side, and curl. I really want to get that good twist at the top. It's like you're bringing your pinky toward your shoulder. Remember I talked about that real good twist at the top helps build that nice bicep peak. Ooh, I slurred my words. Feeling it. Halfway there. Six. It's nice and steady. Squeeze that negative all the way down. Looking good. Nine. Last one each side. And ten. Good job. All right, for our next one, we've got a bent over. Mimics a T-bar row. So you'll come elbows out wide on this. So bent 45 degrees, keeping that lower back tucked in, not rounding the back, chest out. Elbows will come out wide. So we're targeting the 
upper back, rhomboids, pinching the shoulder blades together. All right. Then just your weight back up just a little bit. We got a 15 rep count to start with. So I'll use the same weight that I use for Renegade Rows. And here we go. Bent over position, elbows out wide, and row. Ease it up, squeeze it down. Three, four, five. Nice job, thanks. Good form, Meg. Eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, last one, and good. All right. Now you can set those down. We'll drop right on the floor into mountain climbers. So hands down on the floor, mountain climbers. We're going to knock out 30 of these. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep that core tight. Keep breathing. Almost there. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Woo, nicely done. All right, adjust your weight back down. Because we're gonna go into hammer curl. Hammer curl. So you can use the same weight that you use for the rotating curls. All right, hammer curl, both arms at the same time. Squeeze it up in that neutral position. Come right back. Got 15. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. We got this. Ten. Two thirds of the way there. Five. Four. Three. Last one, squeeze. Nicely done. Ooh, baby. All right, we'll do the same thing here. Three rounds, 15, 12, 10 for reps. So now we'll go to 12 reps. Go back up to that row weight. If you want, you can make it a little more challenging. I'll go up just a little bit, 40s. All right. Here we go, chest out, bent over position, 45 degrees, and row. Keep pushing yourself. It's only half hour. Shoot for that 500 calorie burn. Seven. Eight. Nine. Three more. Three. Two. One. And rest. Good. All right. Get that bike and back and biceps a little rest. We'll go into mountain climbers now. We'll drop to 25. 25 mountain climbers. Here we go. Three, four, five. Not too fast. Remember to keep your shoulders over your hands. Core tight. Make that core work. Five more. Three, two, one. Great job. You guys sweating yet? Starting to? Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Back to hammer curls. So you can stay the same way. We're dropping to 12 reps. Too light last time, you can always go up. Alright. I know Steve likes to increase his weight every time. 
challenge himself. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hammer curls, 12 of them, nice and controlled. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good work, eight. Oh baby, nine, this is where it burns, three more, three, and oh mama, that's a good one, that is a good one, bump that weight right back up, now remember this round we're dropping to 10 reps, so challenge yourself, if you're not adjusting your weight, or you've got lighter weight, you can always just go a little bit slower and really squeeze the negative. Make it last. Here we go. More time under tension helps break down those muscle, muscle fibers and build them up stronger. And rough. Two. Three. Four. Five. Please go quick. Make them count. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. That's it. Oh, baby. Stretch out those arms if you need to. Back into mountain climbers. All we got here is 20 good reps. So all that weight over your hands. Keep that core tight. Here we go. Three more. Two, one. Nicely done. All right. Grab that lighter weight. Last round of hammer curls. Just 10 reps on these. Woo. Breathe in through the nose. Slow the heart rate. Here we go. guys all looking good six seven three last one make it burn make it burn nicely done yes those biceps aren't screaming we're doing something wrong all right, now we're gonna go a little bit lighter weight. We'll be down in that renegade row position, that front plank position. Although this time you're gonna do a uh, reverse fly. So reverse fly. Okay, and that's where you're drawing that hand back one arm at a time, right around the torso. So, you probably wanna be fairly low weight for this one. I'm actually gonna start out with 20. Okay, we've done these before. In fact, this was where I tweaked my knee a while ago. So I'm gonna stay down in a modified position on my knees. And hands down, just like this. And then crank it up, squeeze it down. Just like that. curl here in just a minute. So set those off to the side. 
first going to start with pike jumps. Okay, so you'll be down in the front plank. Bring this back just a pinch. Pike jumps, where you're going to jump up into a pike position and bring your hands up by, I'm sorry, your feet up by your hand on each side. Okay, make sense? Yep. All right, here we go. So one on each side. One. Two. <coughs> Three. Bringing that butt up high. Bend your knees slightly. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Three. Two. And rest. Ooh, baby. That was work. All right. Now we'll grab those weights again. You've got that wide stance squat. Those pointed out 45 degrees. We'll be down in concentration curl. Only 10 reps here. So nice deep squat. Curl it up. You guys can see me. Two. Two plank grip the whole time. Underhand grip. Six. Seven. Three more. Three. Up two. And rest. Cool. Nicely done. All right, now we're gonna come back to those reverse flies. Slide my mat over. I'm gonna grab just a little pad for my knees on this one. So if you're on a hard surface, feel free to put something down under the knees. You guys a little bit longer breather. And myself. All right, sideways. Nice wide base. If you're on your toes, just bring those toes out wide. Here we go. Still at 10 reps. Hands come close together at the bottom. Three. Four. Oh yeah, I feel so much better on the knees. Six. Yeah. Draw back with that elbow. Make sure the back's doing the work. Big breath. And ten. Great job. All right. Set those out of the way. Back to pipe jumps. Oh yeah, these are the fun ones. Here we go. Hands down, right underneath the shoulders. Jump it up into pike and again. Two. Three more. Three, two, and one. Oh, baby. Those are my kickers. <coughs> oh. What are you doing? Things are looking good. I'm feeling it. All right. Now we're going to be in that white stance squat position. Great curls. Ten good reps. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Two more. I 
and 10. Excellent job. Oh yeah. Stuck in a little air this morning. All right, we'll be back down into those reverse flies. Last round, last set of 10. All right. Alexa, stop. Two minute warning. All right, we got time. Here we go. Reverse fly, squeeze it back. We started a couple minutes after today too, so we'll get her done. Four. Take a time. We're gonna skip pipe jumps and we'll go right into those concentration curls. So we grab that weight, get that nice white base. Deep squat, supine grip, underhand. Here we go. Oh, wow. Let's make them hurt. It's our last ten. Squeeze it down. Slow it down just a little. Three more. Three. Make it hurt. Two. Last one. Yes. Nicely done. Throw those weights to the side. We are done with those officially. Now we're going to do a side plank crunch. Side plank crunch. So I'll show you what we'll do here. You'll be in a side plank. We'll do this on your elbow. Since my shoulders are feeling smoked. Your bottom leg is gonna be behind your top leg. So that lower foot should be right behind your top foot and behind your ear. And then you're gonna come up into a crunch and bring it right back. Make sense? Up, crunch, and right back. Here we go. Get that good squeeze on the crunch. Two, three, four. Exhale like you're blowing through a straw. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine and ten. Nice job. So if you need to modify these, you might just stay on your knee in a plank like this, and then you can always just mimic a crunch with your top leg. That's one modification. All right. So bottom foot behind the top foot, bring it through into that crunch. Here we go. Good strong exhale. Open up that chest fully. When you come back, five. That way you feel that oblique stretch. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. All right. How you guys doing? Got time for Good. the other side? Let's knock out one more on each side. Okay, so back down into side plank. Getting those feet lined up. Here we go. Two. chest seven three more three two and one great effort 
Don't feel bad about modifying. If you need to modify, we're at the end of the workout. No shame. Here we go. Well, push yourself. It's your last 10. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm dripping all over. Six. Make them count. Seven. Three more. Three. Up two. Last one. Victory. Great effort. Nice push, guys. Woo. Let the sweat flow. Nicely done.